What's up all my Yorkshire Wolves droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also as at Star Wars Girl, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of She-Hulk's episode 4 and 5. Yes, I took a little bit of a break because it just, it broke my mind. Like, these episodes literally broke me. I had to take a break. I, my, I just, I was losing way too many brain cells. That's how fucking bad this show is. Like, holy crap. Everything that I've said, I completely stand by. They've never read a She-Hulk. Uh, I mean, I, I have highly doubt these people know how to get through real life based on the way the show is written. But I digress. We'll get into that in a minute. So, guys, before we get into that, my channel is Hardcore Shadow Band here on YouTube. So every single like, share, comment really, really helps out my channel fighting the pesky YouTube algorithms. And if you guys haven't already, maybe take a minute, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all that way you actually get notifications because the personalized and the offer basically the same thing they don't do anything so make sure that it is set to all now that that's out of the way i'm about to break my mind doing a review of this but let's get on to the review all right guys so episode four is basically she hulk speed dating and she just she can't get any likes from any normal guys as herself so she tries to get matches by being She-Hulk and trying to match with guys as She-Hulk. And then she gets disappointed when they're like, oh, I thought I was on a date with She-Hulk. And then the next morning, uh, you know, it, it's not She-Hulk anymore. And then she's mad at the guy like as if they're the bad guy. I did a whole in-depth video on just that whole aspect of it. But then that whole plot gets pulled, if you can call that a plot, that gets pulled into episode five. And it's just like, oh my God, my freaking brain. It's just, oh, it's so bad. And all of these showrunners that we're talking about are like, oh my gosh, this new character named Madison, which is basically this like drunk chick in her 30s that's just always drunk and there's like a magic show and the guy's using like the Doctor Strange magic and so they take him to court because he's using the Doctor Strange magic on people like the drunk Madison chick and she's best friends with Wong because she has to go through the portal and She-Hulk has to interrupt her date to stop because the magic guy couldn't just open up portals. He opened up a portal to some like bat demon dimension and all these bat demons were coming out. And instead of just like, I don't know, using magic to get all of them out at once uh, or calling any other fucking superhero, apparently Wong can only call She-Hulk and call She-Hulk and get She-Hulk to come and fight with him to get all of the bat demons because they have to have cameos in, in all of that. So that that is basically the plot for episode four plus She-Hulk gets laid by some really hot dude, which somebody got pissed that I said that the dude was really hot. Uh, sorry, he is. He's really hot. And uh, she, she got a guy as She-Hulk. Now again, this is why I say... They, they've never read the comics. They, they don't know anything about her. And, I mean, the fact that she stays as She-Hulk, that might be a budget thing, but it's like, if you, th if your main fucking character has to be in a CGI form, wouldn't you think that they would put a little bit of the budget into this, considering, you know, Marvel's, like, their big, their big penny thing like that's what gets everyone in that's what makes them all their money star wars isn't making them a shit so you would think that marvel's the one that's making them all the money right because then billion dollars every time a movie so it's like okay why don't you reinvest some of that billion dollars into the main character of your fucking show but no and like i said before it's she goes on like 10 fucking dates on the same night and I'm like what did she do schedule these dates 20 like in 20 minute intervals it's ridiculous and so she goes on a bunch of dates with these guys as she hulk they're all only interested in her as she hulk and she's disappointed that they're only interested in her as she hulk and then one guy's like oh i don't want to talk about myself i've been on too many first dates and i'm like homeboy you're really hot and you're going on a lot of first dates and you don't like talking about yourself and you only want to hear about the girl red fucking flag oh my god like and then she's like oh let's go back to my place and somebody got on my ass they're like anna she's slut i mean she's not a slut and i'm like i know she's not a slut i never said she was a slut the way that she's acting is not like her character yes she hulk likes to be sexy and get laid yes she's fucking juggernaut and hercules all the fucking time that that's not has that doesn't have anything to do with what i said in that situation they made her seem like 
I don't know, like a, a dumb, just horny chick who's using, who's literally using guys for sex and then getting disappointed when it didn't co- play out the way that she wanted. When she was literally, she literally just used that guy for sex. And then she's mad that, oh, he didn't like me as Jen. It's like, well, no shit, bitch. He didn't go on the fucking date with Jen. He was on the same fucking app as Jen. He didn't match as Jen. He matched with She-Hulk. And I, I did this whole tweet about it and how, like, he's not the bad guy in that situation. Like, she transformed in front of him. They talked about it. No, she didn't. They, they never had a conversation about it. Go actually watch it. She had a conversation with a different guy about it, not him. She's getting her dates mixed up and so are the people that are complaining about it. So, I mean, I don't I don't blame the guy. If you go on a date with Steve fucking Rogers as Captain America and the next morning you wake up and it's Captain America without the super serum, it's like that's kind of false fucking advertising, right? Like, I don't blame the person, especially when it's like they had no real conversation about their lives, about their hopes and dreams. It seemed to literally just be a hookup and she's mad that the dude that just tried, that just wanted to hook up with her was like, oh, I don't know who you are. This is kind of uncomfortable. I was on a date with She-Hulk and you're clearly not She-Hulk now. I mean, I don't blame the guy. That that's doing the do dirty in in my personal opinion. But so then in episode five, what they do with it is oh, She Hulk's getting chewed by Titania for copyright, and it's like motherfuckers. How many years are we into the MCU? Oh, is it over a decade now? Is it over a fucking decade? Huh? You would have thought that, I don't know, somebody like fucking Iron Man, Tony fucking Stark, I don't know, maybe would have gotten his like, I don't know, Stark industry lawyers on top of that. They wouldn't just now be having this problem 10 fucking years later. You don't think that any of them, War Machine, a uh, Captain America, Spider Man, uh, Black Widow, Hawkeye. You don't think any of these fucking superheroes haven't had to deal with that? No, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, She Hulk is the first fucking one that has to deal with copyright infringement. Oh my god, give me a fucking break. That, and that's the plot of the episode. Excuse me, I was getting the hiccups. Yeah, that That's the plot, is her going to court with Titania, and the way that she proves that, oh, it, it was my name first, was showing her fucking Tinder profile with all the guys that she banged, or the one guy that she banged, and all the guys that she went on a date with and bringing them into court. That was the big gotcha moment. It's like, oh, let me use my embarrassing dates to win this battle in court. And it's like... Do, she got hired by the fucking law firm as She-Hulk to be She-Hulk and to be the face of the fucking law firm. The law firm would have been immediately like, oh, yeah, no, bitch. No, like, if anything, we own it. But at the same time, you're telling me after a decade of superheroes in this universe, of fucking gods and aliens coming in and doing all this, you're telling me that there was not some kind of law put into place to protect superheroes so that we, this shit wouldn't happen. It, and if you are you want me to believe that that didn't happen, then that means Tony Stark, the most intelligent man on the fucking planet, is a fucking idiot and so are all of his lawyers that work for Stark Industries. You're telling me all of S.H.I.E.L.D., all of the fucking governments of the fucking planet don't have some kind of laws or understanding in place. You're telling me that there wouldn't be a public outcry that a superhero was getting ripped off just look at twitter right now look at all the stands that go crazy if you say lol on a tweet right they all come in defense of like senpai right they all they'll all come and defend him so you're telling me that we're like right now in the world that we live in if she hulk who i know has a bunch of stands out there you're telling me all the she hulk stands wouldn't immediately go and fight with titania's fans online and they use this they fucking use twitter and social media in a previous episode to show like oh the to complain about the she hulk character and like oh my god why are we getting so many female superheroes like it's already you know we already have hulk why do we need she hulk so you're you They already fucking showed social media as, you know, being a tool in this part of the world. So you're telling me right now, if She-Hulk's name was, you know, under some kind of copyright infringement... 
don't you think the fucking people would be fighting about it on social media? I know for goddamn sure they would. So I like how they use that, you know, that whole plot point in a previous episode and then they don't use it in this episode because that would kind of destroy their entire plot it, it's so fucking stupid and then like the subplot of this episode is that her friends are going to go get her a suit but they're like oh it doesn't need to be a superhero suit it just needs to fit her in both bodies and it's like hulk told you in the first fucking episode it's a little thing called spandex I don't know. May, if, if fucking Spider-Man, a teenager, Peter fucking Parker can make himself a Spider-Man suit, I'm pretty sure Jen can go fucking shopping and go find big and tall, you know, suits that are stretchy. I'm pretty sure she can. And heck, that's a lot of the times why Jennifer Walters is wearing skirts. She's not wearing pants. She's wearing long skirts. And because she's so fucking tall they fit her like inappropriate you know right above the knee or around the knee area skirt that's professional for work you're telling me that there's no big and tall blouses that she could put on that it's just and she's not even fighting in this yet like she did one fight scene as shield where she's fighting the bats and she's not even in her like actual wardrobe she's in her dress that she was going on dates which by the way you put a blazer over that dress bam work attire right fucking there you're telling me that she can't go into a freaking um alterations place i'm blanking on the name why am i blanking on the name a tailor that's what it's called you're telling me that she can't go into a tailor and say hey here's this blazer make it fit me no you have to go hunt down some superhero suit guy which also but well the only reason they had that in there was to show the cameo or like the lead into the cameo oh my gosh we're gonna have daredevil look at here's daredevil's mask oh my gosh it's gonna be daredevil oh my gosh and it's like yeah we already knew that because this show the only way for get to get people to watch it is to say we're gonna have this character we're gonna have this character we're gonna have this character the show can't stand on its own two feet it has to have rely on cameos from you know other characters that are already established that people already like and it's so infuriating to me because jen is such a good character she is so fucking likable she is a great compelling character if they actually read the comics they would know that, but they didn't. So they have to, you know, just shoehorn in all these characters and these ridiculous plot points that are just so fucking stupid. They have made Jin a fucking moron, a terrible liar, and a pretty pathetic and just lame human being. It sucks. It really sucks because I really like this character and to see this happen this way, it's just so upsetting. And they have turned her father into a bumbling fucking idiot. Like, oh my, it's it's just so bad. They, they... <sighs> This show was written by morons. And even when I've done how many videos, everyone's teasing me because they're like, Anna, you've done so many S.H.I.E.L.D. videos. It's like, no fucking shit. I like this character. I actually fucking know about this character and I actually like the character. It's the same exact thing with Star Wars. Oh, Anna, you made a lot of videos about Star Wars. No fucking shit. I'm that fucking Star Wars girl, bitch. I'm going to talk about Star Wars as much as I fucking want. This is my YouTube channel. You got a problem with it? I don't know. Maybe you watch one of the million other YouTube channels. This is my channel and I'm talking about what the fuck I want to talk about. And right now, I want to fucking talk about Sheol because this is a fucking problem. Like, oh my fucking God. How can you fuck this up and they're like hold my beer and you want to know how they're fucking this up or why they're fucking this up because these morons didn't fucking read any of the source material and there's video evidence of them saying oh we just sat around in a reader's room and told our embarrassing life stories and that's what we based the show on and it's like bitch you're not fucking interesting this character was written by people that actually knew how to write fucking stories and how to write good fucking characters and instead we get this shit you want to actually go see the shit that Jin was doing she was putting away murderers and now you have her fighting for copyright infringement you have such a good plot point about her trying to put behind bars the dude that killed her mother and basically destroyed her life and was responsible for the murder of not only her mother but her best friend and, you know, all the attempt at murder at her, which made her become She-Hulk. And you could have her going against this big, greasy, slimy villain that everyone in L.A. fears. But no, 
Instead, you have her going against copyright infringement. And maybe it is the fact that they don't want to pay the people that created this character. They don't want to pay royalties to anyone, so they're not using any character. So they only have the option of sitting around and telling their own stupid fucking life stories, which I'm like, these people must live really fucking pathetic lives if this is the best that they can come up with. Like, give me a fucking break. Fuck this show. Fuck this episode. Fuck these writers. This is fucking bullshit. It's a fucking disgrace. Marvel has really gone down the gutter, and I can't stand the fact that they're like, oh, you just have to sit back and enjoy it, and if you don't, then you're a sexist, misogynist man baby that hates women. And I'm over here like, bitch, please. Do I look like a sexist, misogynist man baby? Fuck no. I don't. I'm actually a person that read these stories growing up, and I fucking like this character. So fuck you guys for putting this shit in front of me and telling me to eat it, lying to me, telling me it's ice cream when it's clearly fucking dog shit. Fuck you. This is fucking bullshit. This show is fucking terrible, and it's just been getting worse and worse by the minute. It's fucking terrible. I'm sorry, I, I went on my little rant. I just, I had to get that out of my system. It's so fucking bad. Ugh, that was a lot. I'm done for right now. Anyways, everyone, let me know what you think about this whole situation down below in the comment section. If you guys liked this video, please smash like button. If you didn't, that's okay, too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Make sure that the bell is set to all that we actually get notifications when I post videos and live streams. And until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much again for supporting my channel and my content. And if you guys would like to support me further, my cosplay calendar, my gamer edition cosplay calendar is live still now on Indiegogo for a limited time only. We were very, very successful in the campaign and we are currently in In Demand. In Demand is only going to be up for a limited time only. So be sure to go check it out before we take this down. And guys, once again, thank you so much for this. If you guys want to go and back this campaign the link is down below in the description of this video and make sure that you guys check it regularly because i do add updates on there and more photos are coming soon so thank you guys and last but not least guys i have a twitch that i am trying to go i am at 5.7k followers right now and i'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year so if you guys haven't gone and followed me over on twitch go and do so now the link is in the description of this video i play a lot of games on here like elden ring and kotor so go check it out if you haven't already. And that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.